There's some juice in the bottle. Hay jugo, hay zumo, en la botella, en la botella. Some, aquí uso some, no delante de plurales, como antes. Some, delante de palabras incontables, que son masa, no unidad, masa. Jugo, no, dices, no decimos en inglés jugos o zumos. We say juice, como leche o como agua. No decimos aguas. There's some water in the bottle. There's some... There is some, in la todo la sonido ese. There's some milk in the bottle. Uh, there's some juice in the bottle. And there's some water on the table. Hay polvo también en la mesa. There's some dust on the table. There's, there's some dust on the table. There's some dust in my head, I think. Un poco de serrín tengo, seguro. Polvo no lo sé. There's some sawdust in my head. But there's some dust on the table. There's some milk in the bottle. There's some water on the table. There's some water on the floor. And there's some time to study English. Hola y bienvenidos a la clase número 63 del nivel básico. Hoy vamos a ver la frase... There's some wine in the bottle. There's some wine in the bottle. Okay. Hay algo de vino en la botella. Hay algo de vino en la botella. Primero, vamos a repasar esta there's. There is, contraído, there's. Okay. Y significa hay. Okay. Entonces, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Hay un perro debajo de la mesa. Vamos a ver. There's, there is, there's a dog under the table. There's a dog under the table. Ok, ¿cómo se dice? Hay un bolígrafo en la mesa. Very good. There's a pen on the table. There's a pen on the table. Ok, hay una carpeta en la mesa de trabajo. Bien. There's a folder on the desk. There's a folder on the desk. Y nuestra palabra del día es several. Several significa varias o varios. Several. Muy bien. Hi, guys. Pues hoy me toca a mí hacer la comida para mis compis. Y voy a preparar un gazpacho. A ver. Hmm. In gazpacho, there's some salt. Mm -hmm. In gazpacho, there's some salt. Chicos, si yo puedo hacer un esfuerzo para decir gazpacho como una española nativa, tú tienes que sacar la lengua para decir there's. There's some salt in gazpacho. There's some salt. Good. Okay, what else? Hmm. There's a lemon in gazpacho. Okay, there's a lemon in gazpacho. There's a peach, a peach in gazpacho. Debe de ser la receta de una abuela o algo así. No sé. Ah, sí, esto ya lo sé. There's a banana in gazpacho. Whew, esto va a ser super rica. En la segunda parte de esta clase, vamos a ver some wine. Algo de vino. There's some wine. Ok. Wine es un, es un sustantivo incontable. Yeah? No decimos a wine o two wines. Yeah? Decimos wine en general. Entonces, en el uh, afirmativo hay que decir some wine. Some wine. Hay algo de vino, ¿ya? Yeah? Hay muchos sustantivos incontables en inglés. Por ejemplo, el agua. There's some water on the table. No decimos there is a, a water or two waters. No se puede decir esto. There's some waters. Hay algo de, de, de agua en la mesa, ¿ya? Yeah? Some more examples. Hay algo de arroz en la mesa. Arroz is rice. So we say... Muy bien. There's some rice on the table. There's some rice on the table. 
Ok, hay algo de azúcar en la mesa. Azúcar también es incontable. Muy bien. There's some sugar on the table. There's some sugar on the table. Muy bien. Anuncio para Jujus, take one. Hi, it's Mr. Strong, and it's time for Jujus. Are you thirsty? Have some Jujus. It's full of minerals and vitamins and tastes so good. It's Jujus. That's right, there's some Jujus over there. There's some Jujus over here. There's Jujus everywhere, in todas partes. Now, be careful. Juice, no lo pronunciamos juice. No, it's a juice. No es una palabra en inglés. Juice. Juice. Y tampoco es use. Eso es uso. Juice. Juice. Ja juice. That's, it. That's the brand we're talking about. Ja juice. Do you have any juice in your house? Yes. Is there any juice here in the studio? Yes. There's some juice over there. There's some juice over there. There isn't any juice here. Why isn't there any juice? ¿Por qué no hay zumo aquí? Ok, vamos a terminar esta clase con in the bottle. Preposición in and the bottle. En la botella, claro. Ok, so voy a ponerte a prueba con más ejemplos. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Hay algo de agua en la botella. O hay agua en la botella. Ok, there's some, recuerda, some water in the bottle. There's some water in the bottle. Ok, ¿cómo se dice? Hay algo de leche. Hay leche en la botella. Leche, milk, for example. Ok, there's some milk in the bottle. There's some milk in the bottle. Recuerda, este M, some, some, not song. Some milk in the bottle. Ok, ¿cómo se dice? Hay aceite en la botella. A ver. There's some oil. Aceite, oil. In the bottle. There's some oil in the bottle. Ok. ¿Cómo se dice? Hay algo de zumo de naranja en la botella. Ok. There's some orange juice. There's some orange juice in the bottle. Y recuerda, nuestra palabra del día es several. Varios o varias. Muy bien. Ready. Mira, mi ordenador escanea los contenidos de las botellas. Perfect. A ver, a ver si funciona. What's in the bottle? Eh. Orange juice. Eh. There's orange juice in the bottle. In the bottle. The bottle. Bottle. Decimos bottle. Bottle. In the bottle. I don't know. There's orange juice in the bottle. Oh, muy bien. But there's also bacteria in the bottle. Ugh. A ver. What's in the bottle? Ah. There's apple juice in the bottle. Muy bien. Apple juice. But there's also bacteria in this bottle. I'm not going to drink this bottle either. Don't worry, don't worry. Come on, you can count on me. Puedes contar conmigo. You can count on me. No digáis count with. Eso sí, juntaros los dos y empezar a contar de, uh, de uno al diez. But you can count on me. I'll back you up. I'll back you up. I'll support you. Te respaldaré en esto. Te apoyaré. No te preocupes, ¿eh? Puedes contar conmigo. Pase lo que pase. Whatever happens. Whatever happens, whatever happens, I'll back you up. Don't worry. You can count on me. I'll always be here for you. I'll back you up. Whatever happens, no matter what happens. Otra alternativa. Whatever happens, I'll back you up. You can count on me, you can count on me, but you can't count on him. You can't count on him. You can count on me. I'll back you up. He won't. And whatever happens, 
Whatever happens, I'll back you up. Hello again and welcome to a new day and a new class. All right, let's get started. You can count on me. I'll back you up whatever happens. Puedes contar conmigo. Te respaldaré pase lo que pase. Okay, it's a very positive, you know, example today. So, you can count on me. Puedes contar conmigo. Right? Una expresión muy bonita. El verbo contar con alguien is to count on someone. Ojo, to count on. No decimos to count with. Okay? Porque normalmente con sí significa with, pero aquí no. Hay que decir to count on. Okay? For example, we can count on them for everything. Podemos contar con ellos para todo. You can count on me. Puedes contar conmigo. Can I count on you? Okay, I hope so. Now, negative. We can't count on him. No podemos contar con él. We can't count on her. Okay, same idea. We can't count on. My students can always count on me, and I can always count on them. Okay, so again, to count on somebody. So can you count on me? Absolutely. Keep studying. Hello, Steve speaking. How can I help? Oh, hi, Frank. What do you want? Yeah, Frank, I know. Okay, I'm going to confirm the trip to Mount Everest. Puedes contar conmigo. You can count on me. <laughs> Frank, that's my job. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to call the travel agency. Y yes? Look, Frank, just don't worry, okay? I'll do everything. You can count on me. Yeah, well, tell April. Tell April she can count on me, okay? <sighs> count on me, not count with me, okay? Contar conmigo. To count on me. You can count on me. So, everybody's counting on me to confirm the trip. So, I'll do it later. Welcome back. Let's look at the second part. You can count on me. I'll back you up whatever happens. Puedes contar conmigo. Te respaldaré pase lo que pase. So here, otro verbo here, to back someone up. Okay, so to back someone up, respaldarle a alguien. For example, I'll do it if you back me up. Viene literalmente aquí, de la espalda, ¿no? La espalda, back. I'll do it if you back me up. Lo haré si me respaldes. Me respaldes. ¿Respaldas? Sí. <laughs> okay, don't worry. We'll back you up. No te preocupes. Te respaldaremos. Um, I need you to back us up. Necesito que nos respaldes. Okay? And my best friend didn't back me up. Ooh, so mi mejor amigo no me respaldó. What a traitor, right? ¿Qué, qué significa traitor? Es la palabra del día. Mm, traidor, right? So qué traidor. What a traitor. Traitor. All right, so if you need help, I'll back you up. Si necesitas ayuda, te respaldaré. So repeat, to back someone up is respaldarle a alguien. Okay, keep practicing porque este es un verbo muy uh, común. Okay, bye. Hi, Frank here, the security guard. Bueno, hoy voy a ayudar a mi equipo. Voy a respaldar a mi equipo. I'm going to back them up. Why? Because they're always backing me up. So today, I'm going to back them up. Yeah, I'm a good security guard. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Uh-huh. Go on, McNulty. Uh, you have a problem with the elephants. Uh, don't worry, don't worry. I I'll back you up. Yeah, no problem. I'll back you up. Give me five minutes, okay? Yeah, I'll back you up. Yeah. Okay, mira, fijaos, no he dicho, I'll back up you. See, no? I'll back you up. Repítelo conmigo. I'll back you up. I'll back you up. Repítelo. Todo junto. I'll back you up. Te respaldaré. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, go on. 
Hey, O'Reilly. Yeah, you got a dilemma with the clowns. Oh, no problem. Yeah, sure. I'll back you up, man. You know I'll back you up. Okay, a copy. Okay, ya llegamos al final. You can count on me. I'll back you up whatever happens. Puedes contar conmigo. Te respaldaré, pase lo que pase. Okay, so the last part is whatever happens. Pase lo que pase. Whatever. Repeat, whatever happens. I'll back you up whatever happens. I'll always love you whatever happens. Oh, qué bonito, ¿no? So siempre te querré, pase lo que pase. Nothing will change whatever happens. Nada cambiará, pase lo que pase. You don't give up whatever happens. No te rindas. Pase lo que pase. So, again, whatever happens, whatever happens. You can count on me, whatever happens. Puedes contar conmigo, pase lo que pase. He always does the right thing, whatever happens. Okay, so he always does the right thing. ¿Cómo es la frase? Él siempre hace lo correcto. He always does the right thing, whatever happens. She's always right, whatever happens. Okay, so ella siempre tiene la, tiene la razón o lleva la razón, pase lo que pase. So, whatever happens, whatever happens. Todos juntos, you can count on me. I'll back you up, whatever happens. Keep practicing, we'll see you in the next class. Oh, it's Steve. He says he's worried because he feels like he's forgotten to do something, but he doesn't know what it is. Let's see if I can help him. Mm. Oh no! Steve has forgotten to confirm the trip to Mount Everest. Oh my God. Whatever happens, he can't tell Zach. Pase lo que pase, no lo puede decir a Zach. Whatever happens. Tú en casa, dilo conmigo. Whatever happens, Steve can't tell Zach. Why? I can't tell you, but whatever happens, he can't tell him. I have to tell him this. Whatever happens, don't tell Zach, Steve. <sighs> okay. Oh God, thank God, que alivio. At least whatever happens, we're still going to Mount Everest. Hello, I'm happy today, eh? Seguimos, hemos entrado en beneficio. Hemos terminado el año con un beneficio, eh? We're making money. Yeah, a pesar de la recesión, eh? De la crisis. Despite, despite, despite the recession, Despite you, despite him, despite the problems, despite, sin preposición después. Ahora bien, también existe tres palabras. In spite of, que es lo mismo, a pesar de. In spite of the recession or despite the recession. Yes, despite the recession, según esto, there's been, ha habido, there has been, there's been an increase, un aumento, un incremento. There's been an increase in profit or in profits. We can say profit is beneficio. Ánimo de lucro aquí, ¿eh? En función. Yes, there's been an increase in profit. There's been an increase. There has been, contracción, there's been. An increase in profit despite the recession. Can you believe it? Despite the recession, there's been an increase in profit. Hello, welcome to class number 63. Wow, we are progressing. Qué rápido vamos. We're going at the speed of light. My God. Yes, but despite the recession, things are going well. Profits are up. Despite the recession, despite the recession, despite, despite, despite. Okay. In spite of the recession or despite. We have two ways in English of saying a pesar de. Way number one is three words. In spite of... Okay, and uh, option number two, despite, one word, seen of, all right, like a pesar de, pese a, you have two ways in Spanish too, oh, in spite of, despite, in this case, despite, es una palabra, nada más, so it's easy, despite the recession, despite the recession, despite the weather, 
Uh, despite the fact that, despite the recession, in spite of, despite, the profits are up. We are making a profit despite the recession. Estamos entrando en beneficios. A pesar de la recesión, despite the recession, we are making a profit. Despite the recession, our company is making a profit. Thank God. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, my, my. Well, this is Harriet's plan for pay rises. That's right, subidas del sueldo. Ho, ho, ho. And it's about time, too. Oh, my God, what? Felicity is going to get a massive pay rise? A pesar de la recesión? Despite the recession? She's going to get a massive pay rise despite the recession. Eso es, mis niños. Decimos despite para decir a pesar de. Y no despite of the recession. Dilo conmigo. Despite the recession. Good. Oh, my God. George and Mike are going to get a big pay rise, too, despite everything, despite the hotel's financial problems. And my pay rise. Zero? What the hell? Harriet! Hello again, Class 63, Part 2. Despite the recession, there's been an increase in profit. Despite the recession, there's been, there's been, there has been, ha habido un aumento en el beneficio. A pesar de la recesión, ha habido un aumento, menos mal, un incremento en, la, en el beneficio de la empresa. Despite the recession, there's been, there's been, there has been. Contraction, there's been, o been. Los británicos dirían más como been. Como frijole, ¿no? Como Mr. Bean. Uh, the Americans, Ben, como Benjamin. Uh, despite the recession, there's been, or there's been, an increase. Menos mal. It's a good thing. There's been an increase in profit. Despite the recession, there has been. There's been. There's been. There's been. There's been. Singular. Si es plural, there have been. But we're with the singular here. There's been. There's been a recession. This, uh, but there's been an increase, despite the recession. There's been, there's been an important event this week. There's been at least one traffic accident today. There's been a storm this month in Madrid. There's been, there's been, there's been. And despite the recession, my friend, there's been an increase in profit. Wow, fantastic, that's good. Oh, wow, <laughs> impressive. Ya, yeah. hey, hey. Eh, bueno, este mes ha habido un aumento de reservas. Yes, there has been an increase in reservations. Fijaos, he dicho an increase in reservations. No he dicho an increase of reservations. Eso es Spanglish. There has been an increase in reservations. Y eso con cualquier cosa, ¿no? There has been an increase in Unemployment, el paro, pero siempre an increase in. Y acordados, en inglés siempre es importante aprender la preposición que va con la palabra. Porque si no, es muy difícil. Ya lo sabemos. So there has been an increase in reservations, which means, que significa, that there will be an increase in work. But I'm going to talk to Harriet because maybe... Possibly, there will be an increase in my salary. Hello, Class 63, Part 3, okay? Profit, profit, beneficio, lucro de una empresa. Making a profit, profit and loss. Beneficio o pérdida, profit and loss. Despite the recession, a pesar de la recesión, despite, 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 despite the recession. Si no es preposición medio, no despite of, por favor. Despite the recession, there's been an increase in profit. Profit, it's preferable to make a profit than to suffer losses, of course. Yes, hmm, this uña, this file, this nail. I need a nail file. This is a nail file. It's not a pin, but it looks like a pin, but it's not, eh? It's a nail file. Escrito file, como archivo también, fichero, file, escrito file, es una lima. Una lima para las uñas, una lima para la madera. 
o para metal, file. And to file is archivar, o también limar, to file. With a nail file, I file my nails, bah, no, I don't. Oh, I play the guitar. On these nails, yes, I file these nails, because I play the guitar. But that's not important now. The important thing is profit. Making a profit. Increasing the profits. It's important to make a profit in singular or in plural. A profit or profits. Yes, despite the recession, there's been an increase in profit. Fantastic. I'm not going to lead anyone on. I'm here for only one reason. Beneficios. Profits. That's right. Profits. Not benefits and not profit. 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 Dilo conmigo. Profit. 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 That's right. Profits. When the board of directors hires me, hired me, I said I'm here for profits. I only care about profits. Profits. That's why I double check the figures. Profits. That's why I never get behind on payments. Profits. That's why I keep an eye on the bu budget. Profits. That's all that I care about. Profits. That's why my staff works 24-hour shifts. Profits. It's all about profits. This month, despite the recession, we've increased our profits. In fact, we've made a killing this month. Despite the recession, the profits have increased. It's incredible. We've made a killing.